So this is just a quick video in case you guys have never taken your extruder apart on a K1 or K1C or K1 Max, they're all the same. There is this cover that goes on the top that just comes off, it's just clipped on. And then you have two screws on the right side and then one screw on the left side. Once those are out, you can take the extruder out. Now I have filament in here, so if you have filament in here, you need to heat the hot end up and then you can remove this. Now, the reason I'm taking this apart is I'm replacing the extruder gears with the new upgraded ones we have. So once I get this out of here, I'm gonna take the two screws out that hold the motor on. There's one here that you can see and there's one in the bottom left and then we'll be able to get access to the inside of the extruder. So I'm gonna take this apart and show you guys what that looks like. So here's the extruder removed. You notice there's a little piece of PTFE to guide it. You wanna keep that. And now we need to take the extruder off the motor by unscrewing these two screws here. So now the extruder is off the printer and I went ahead and pulled the cover off. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these two screws here to take these gears out. I'll then be able to get the reduction shaft off of here, which is this little guy here, and then put the new one on. Now, when I'm replacing these, the only bearing we're going to reuse is this one here that's on the reduction gear everything else is going to get replaced. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these two bolts here to take these two stock gears off and I'm going to install the new hardened coated gears as well as the new drive gear here. So I've got the old gears out and if you notice these old gears that come with these machines are actually plastic with metal here whereas the new gears these are all metal. It's all one piece. So I'm going to go ahead and Put the new reduction gear on right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and screw in the two new gears, one here and one here, with the two new screws that are included. So I've got the new reduction gear on here as well as the two new drive gears. I'm going to take the bearing from the original reduction gear and put it on the end of the shaft of the new one. And then all we got to do is put the case back on and put this back in the printer and install it the way we took it off. And that's it, the gears are changed out.